Hi guys, it's Jenny and welcome to my last Metaphobia Diary. Um, <laughs> um, I can't believe this ending, I'm actually really sad. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to speak to my side consultant anymore, but um, I'm just here to tell you all about um, everything that's happened so far and the last chapters, um, 12, 12 uh, 13 and 14. So, I don't know if you saw my week 5 video or not, but I went up the mountain. I actually went up the mountain. I can't believe it. Um, so, all I have to really say is up there. And, um, I just, uh, first of all, I can't believe I did it. Second of all, um, I can't believe I did it because um, I really tried hard. And, um, I was able to, to overcome. And I feel like I can do a lot more things now. Maybe not. As, as going as far as you know jumping on a plane yet but I definitely know I can do it and I'm so confident now that I can do so many other things so yes these are the last couple of chapters and then what's left next is lots of hard work so I'll get to that in a minute so to go over chapter 12 um, this is something called the dream technique and I don't really want to talk about this as much because it's just a technique that it explains to you what you can do to calm yourself down when you get into that kind of mode of anxiety and the reason why I don't want to talk about this that much is because um, I haven't really used it actually even though it's a fantastic chapter and probably lots of people will use it but um, I've just been able to control it in a way that I didn't have to use this technique and um, although the words dream do stand for each thing that you have to do, um, I've just felt like um, I was able to, to control it in the way that I could. And um, I think maybe if I had like, um, you know, if I was extremely anxious, I might use it maybe before I was going on the stage or something, or if I was really, you know, stressed out, um, I might use it. But... Um, so far I haven't, I haven't used it and um, I'm grateful that it's there and maybe I'll use it in the future. So uh, that's just chapter 12, just explaining about that technique, the dream technique. Now chapter 13 I think is so important because it talks about overcoming uh, your phobia. Now this chapter I think is the most straightforward and very direct chapter that Rob, you know, tells it how it is. Basically what he's saying is that, you know, you kind of gone through the whole book and you totally understand now that uh, you don't have a fear of being sick. Actually, you've never done, it's just emotional overreaction that you've created yourself, that I've created, that you've created. And because of that, and because of all these habitual things that we've been doing, because of all these unhelpful beliefs and thinking styles, it's just been really hard to overcome it because we've been doing it for so long. So now that we've been able to cure ourselves, we have to kind of undo it as much as we can through through a longer time period because even though six weeks has helped me so much I know that I'm still going to have to keep doing it and reinforcing it so that I don't have to rely on going back to the book anymore so it's just really direct and it's telling you all about you're going to have to have the right attitude to do this you're going to have to um, uh, you know it kind of lists down everything that you have to do again for you to go back and reread the chapters and um, kind of just review, it's just like a, a, a review chapter which is so good and it even talks about blips and um, you know understanding your, your desire for control and um, it's just it's just a really good recap and review chapter and um, I think if any time I was doubting or I was feeling like I was lacking or I feeling like I was taking a step backward I think I would go back to chapter 13 and I'd be able to get back on track again. Now chapter 14 is just a summary of um, all of the kind of quizzes that you've taken so that you can see the difference. Now just for example, just to give you a kind of perspective, uh, the first time I did the Locus of Control quiz I got extremely high, it was 27 out of 30, um, but now the score has gone down to 4, just 4, um, and self esteem has gone down a lot, social anxiety has also gone down a lot. Um, and overall the Thrive Factor is, is brilliant. Um, I think uh, I've scored like 
so 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 good now um and I, and I am i feel more confident and i think you can probably see that i that i sound more confident um as for the unhelpful thinking styles there are some things that i scored still quite high on but my type consultant said that it's totally normal because this is you know sometimes part of your personality um i think the person that makes me me is somebody who is a bit of a perfectionist and a bit of a um Assessive person, yeah, it's really good to have these um, just to give you perspective and to show you just how much you've improved uh, throughout the course. Um, and uh, and that's it, basically. Um, that really is it. And um, uh, at the back is just um, a page to tear out to give the significant others, just to explain. Um, and there was a chapter on that explaining about significant others and then and then there's just references and um, research at the back so what I really want to emphasize is that um, in chapter 13 Rob actually does say that um, after you complete the book you should you know keep going back and do like another six weeks you know reread it reinforce it you know get it into your head um, remember it um, you know it's really important to do that and and I think every day now I'm going to I'm going to read it I'm going to you know recite it I'm going to um keep reminding myself of the skills that I have now and keep reminding myself um that I need to challenge myself you know it doesn't have to be big challenges um anything is a challenge really and um overall I have a better outlook and a more positive outlook um, I can say actually now that I'm probably completely over it um, my goal is to get on a plane and go back to England and visit family so I think that um, later during the year I will do that and uh, hopefully I'll be able to pop in and see Rob and Lucy as well, my side consultant so all I can say is um, whoever's reading the book um, the most important thing is to really really understand it if you don't understand any other chapters just go back and reread it again and you know my techniques is just to, you know, buy loads of sticky notes, post them everywhere so that you can see them before you go out the door, you know, recite them, uh, tell yourself every day that you don't actually have a fear of being sick. It's just an emotional overreaction and you are the one that's creating the anxiety and the moment you understand that, everything else becomes more calmer, everything else becomes um, a lot more put in perspective and that's how I feel right now and I definitely know that... Um, no matter in what situation you are, um, how severe you have it, you can overcome it. Um, and um, I'm actually catching up with my third consultant in a couple of weeks um, just to see um, how everything is going and just give her just a general update on um, what's been happening and what challenges I've decided to take. So it's been really good doing these vlogs, um, doing this in Metaphobia Diary. And uh, if any of you have any questions or anything, then please just comment down below. And um, I look forward to speaking to you maybe in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months to see how it's been going. And I would just like to thank uh, Rob and Lucy for your support. And um, good luck um, is something that you're not meant to say in here. So I'm going to say that you don't need luck. You just need to believe in yourself. Bye guys.